Welcome to Yuri's Hockey Cards. Today we're going to open up a box of 2021 Upper Deck Series 2 Hobby Box. Got an order in the mail the other day with this hobby box, a couple of retail boxes, and a few older products as well. Uh, mainly, the, I think it's 2004 Pacific that I'll be opening up later. I also cracked open a box of retail 2021 Series 2 and had some tech technical difficulty with the video, so I'm just going to show you the hits that I got out of there. There's the marquee rookies that I got. Emil Larmy, Pierre Olivier Joseph, the marquee rookie retro of Vitek Vanacek, Kirill Ustamenko from Belarus, one of the players that I am going to be collecting, uh, blue marquee rookie of Joel Kiviranta, blue of Stuart Skinner, UD portrait of Alex Belzile, Stuart Skinner portrait, a couple of Stuart Skinners there. The canvases were Matt Dunba, Philippe Forsberg, David Perron. We got Dazzlers of Tuka Rask, Tyler Bertuzzi, Connor Ingram, and Vitaly Kravtsov. Young Guns were not that great, but uh, mostly duplicates, but this one is a new one. Uh, Lagason. Matthias Bromi is a triplicate at this point. Uh, Entwistle, Angelo, uh, this guy, I can't ever pronounce his name right. Goalie for Columbus from Latvia. Then we got a uh, UD Canvas Young Guns of Jansen Harkins, a little bonus Young Gun action. This was the Young Gun of the, of the box, uh, Romanov Young Gun, so one of the ones that I kind of wanted. So that's cool. And then... I also got the Rookie Materials jersey of Jason Robertson. So that was in that box as well. So it's probably the, the card of the box along with the Romanov. And even though Jansen Harkins, uh, not the best young guns, he was a canvas bonus. So we will plop those up over there. And we'll crack open this hobby box and see what we can pull. Uh, so there are exclusives, hobby exclusives, clear cuts, French variations, uh, French young guns, uh, day with the cup, other exclusives to hobby. So uh, I've opened this up before, kind of explain all this stuff, and I'm sure there's plenty of other videos that have gone through all of the different kind of hits. So it's if we pull anything real cool, I'll kind of explain the odds on them. Um, but, and then, you know, here's kind of have a big print in the back. You can actually read these. Um, there's the uh, Retired Players Program of Excellence canvases that are pretty cool too. I pulled one of those um, in my other hobby box. So, shouldn't be any base packs. We have something in everything, in every pack, even if it's an Opeachy update. Um, there's those Opeachy award winners. I'll move this off to the side, and I'll just go through, I guess, the hit of the pack. Uh, gone through the base enough at this point. I will also be getting the, the tins, should be coming soon as well. So I will be opening up the tins. I think tins are my favorite of all of the, other than the hobby, but tins are way cheaper. Um, so let's get going. I have stacks and stacks of base cards. Alright, we got ourselves a blue dazzler in this one. And I have to look out for the French variations. So we got a canvas of Cam Atkinson. And a blue dazzler of Braden Shen. So, first pack, double the hits. One of those photo variations would be cool. I've never got one of those. I'd like to see one of those. That'd be neat. Uh, it's definitely a bubble card. There's no one in the stands. We've got our first Young Guns of Billy Lagason, William Lagason, which I just showed you that I got in my retail box. So, 
that's the duplicate. It's like the odds of getting duplicates, it's like all the boxes that I've opened up, all the blasters that I've opened up. Pretty ridiculous. I think I bought too much of this stuff. I gotta take it easy next time. I'm really looking forward to Upper Deck Ice, but it's 200 bucks a box. I don't know how much I'm gonna buy of it. Probably just two boxes, which is unfortunate. Should have saved some of my money off not getting this stuff. Save it for that. Uh, looks like I've got a purple dazzler in here, so that's one of the one of the rarer ones. And it is Jake Getzel, purple dazzler. That's nice. He's having himself a year. That line is pretty pretty good. So got ourselves a purple dazzler. I do like the dazzler cards. I like the orange ones that come in the tins and the green ones that come in the in the uh, blaster retail stuff. They are neat. I got another Young Guns in here, and it's, oh, bingo, got him, there we go, and I was impatient, and I wasn't going to wait to open it and find him, I actually purchased one of these on eBay with his oversized card, so I have his oversized in this coming in the mail, but now I have my very own with beautiful corners, I want to get his canvas card too, Sharongovich. He's bigger than he looks. He's been on a tear. That Devils team is good. Going to, I'll probably one touch that guy, even though not the most valuable of young guns in the set, but uh, for me, one of the most valuable ones. And we got a checklist in here. All right. I think I opened this up. I was gonna. I'm gonna hold on to one of the hobby boxes. I got a couple more coming. So I, got, I just opened this one. I had a feeling that I would get something good. Yeah, I've got a portrait card in here. It is Anthony Angelo portrait. So I had, had his uh, Young Guns duplicate in the other my retail box, and then we have ourselves. the portrait. Alright, so far I'm liking that's what I got. Not a bad box so far. I don't know about this trade. But it looks like he's doing well in Detroit. We got ourselves a Marquee Rookie Opeachy update of Chase Prisky. So our first update card. Making sure I know I know I'm gonna miss the French variation. Feels like there's a canvas card in here. All right. There it is, Charlie McAvoy having a bit of a down year. Or not? No, sorry, Charlie McAvoy's not. I was thinking of Jake DeBrusque. No, he's actually doing pretty good. It's kind of taken over that spot. It's the top D-man for Boston. But uh, Boston's not one of my favorite teams, so they're one of my least favorite teams, so I don't really like watching them. Boston and Philadelphia. Those two, those are my two teams that I just don't like. Funny because in, in the 90s, late 90s and 2000, New Jersey was that team that I didn't like. They played that defensive hockey, not really boring to watch. But now they're one of the teams I follow, so things can change. I don't know about Boston and Philadelphia though. And we 
have a marquee rookie update of Braden Burke. I think I saw young guns in here. No, it's a marquee retro. of Steven Lorenz. So I have his Young Guns and now his Retro. I, I pre-ordered this box a long time ago. When it was, I think it was a hundred bucks pre-order. A hundred nine. Now that they're two hundred bucks a box. I think is insane. I was complaining about paying 200 bucks for that game used. I would not pay 200 bucks for this. And we have an award winners. Leon Dreisaitl won the Hart Trophy last year. Almost halfway done. Two young guns so far. And the purple dazzler. Got ourselves a portrait of Korshkov, Igor Korshkov. Played one game last year, so they gave him a card. And we have a French variation. Ah, I caught it. Brandon Smith. There he is. It's all in French. It's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Last pack of the first half. I guess each card, right, has a French variation, so you're gonna, they're all in here. And we got a, oh, there we go. Niels Hoaglander. There's one of the ones. That's a good one. Alright. So, two good young guns. Better than the last box one, I had one good young gun. Cool. Alright, halfway done. Halfway done with the young guns. So let's get some bonus young guns. Maybe a canvas. Clear cut. Something. We got a canvas of Kevin Fiala. He's been doing real well. That Minnesota team is fun to watch now. We've got three of the canvas cards. Another Young Guns of Jordan Gross. Jordan Gross, defenseman for the Coyotes. One of the not exciting ones. I doubt I'll get another real good one. Oh, I got something in here. Oh, I got one. Of, I don't have one of these yet. All right, it's pretty exciting. First one. Fluorescence, not numbered. I think some of these are numbered. Gabe Velarde, Fluorescence. That's a cool looking card. Shiny orange looking card. That's cool. Yeah, I'm happy with this box. I got the young gun I wanted, so everything else is just kind of gravy. Here's another young gun. It is going to be Gage Quinney. 
for the Vegas Knights. One of the kind of older players, looks like. 95. Alright. One more Young Guns, at least, to go. card in here. And it is Stephen Lawrence. Well, I got his marquee rookie update. And I got his portrait. It wouldn't be something if I also got another one of his young guns. I already have it. And another Kirill Istomenko. Uh, so did I? Which one did I? Oh, I had his marquee rookie um, retro. So this is a regular one, but I think I already have his other regular one too. But I'll have to check. And I do have two of his young guns from Series One. Again, I was impatient. I purchased it and then I pulled them. So. <laughs> You know, if I didn't buy it, I wouldn't have pulled it, so that's just the way it works. Alright. Got ourselves a canvas of a Young Guns. There we go, bonus Young Guns of Mackenzie Entwistle. So I have two of his Young Guns, and here is his canvas. So that's not bad. All right, final stack. What else can we pull? Could be one more young gun. Maybe a clear cut or something. I don't know. Maybe because I got the fluorescence, I won't get a clear cut. I don't know how that works. There's the non-French version of Brendan Smith here. Thomas Harley, marquee rookie. in here. Uh, award winner. <laughs> Another one. Which one is... I guess this is his regular one and this is the retro. Uh, we got the other end of that trade. Alright. Ready to go. This one feels weird. But... They all sometimes feel weird to me, so and there's nothing special. I thought it would maybe a jersey card or something. Marquee rookie blue parallel of Bowen Byram. So he's one of the top rookies this year. He didn't really I don't think he had that great of a year, but he's got a lot of potential, so played for the Vancouver Giants in the WHL. We got a lot of young talent on the D-line there. Colorado. Alright, two packs to go. We got a portrait. Card of Mr. Ustminko. Just get a lot of mileage out of this headshot, don't they? All right. I don't think there are any other Belarusian players right now. Sushko played in a game, but he's not going to be. I think he'll be a rookie next year, a Young Guns next year. They're set. I don't think he made the cutoff for the extended release. Final pack. Can't. I'm having trouble opening it. Wow, this thing is sealed shut. All right, get the old scissors out. Should be a young guns in here, I believe, right? Yeah, I have five. 
Yep. It is a shark. I don't know who's who's on the sharks. Then. So no clear cut. Maxim Latunov. He's actually he's been playing a little bit this year. So. All right. So no clear cut. But I did get the fluorescence. I guess I got the fluorescence instead of the clear cut. I don't know if that's better or worse. I did get a pink dazzler. I think that's cool. Um, got an extra Young Guns, but this is the card that I have been searching for, and I got it. And now I can definitely don't need to buy any more of this stuff. Whatever comes in the mail is what I'm going to get. I'll open up some tins, maybe another retail box, and we'll call it good for Series 2 for now. Alright, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you next time.